Hi guys, Gamer Julia Hedgehog here, and today I'll be reviewing my uh, Toy Network Sonic that is about, I think, uh, 7 to a foot, or two, 7 to 12 inches, plus a bonus! The miniature Nico or Nico Sonic plush. See, here's the logo. Nanka or something like that. It's these guys are all over eBay. Let me just put it that way. I really don't like the way his eyes are. As you can see, one of them is up more while the other one's down more. I don't know why that is. But to give to a kid, this would be a great toy. Because he or she uh, would love this. If they're a Sonic, if you want to give them to Sonic, this would be a great toy. These are one in claw machines, just like this never plush. So they kind of go hand in hand. They're not, you know, they're not too different, I guess, what I'm trying to say. The ears have this strange embroidery on them. It's got an embroidered mouth. His, the white parts of his eyes here made nylon, along with his nose. His gloves are also nylon, along with his shoes. And he's got a little felt for his buckles. And there's the Sonic the Hedgehog logo. And his arms are really long. You could say it's like another Sonic of Six Sonic. But he's really floppy. And really, really not my favorite Sonic. That's why I'm selling him along with this Toy Network Sonic. This Toy Network Sonic is actually really nicer a lot nicer compared to this Sonic and here's why I think so uh, let's see starting with his face his eyes are a whole lot better it's got a nicer smile I love the quill style on this one more his ears are nicer they don't have that strange and bordery Although, one problem I always had with the Twin Eric Sonics are the shoes. They are not supposed to be like that. These shoes are round. Feet are not round. And of course, unlike this Sonic here, his arms are not so long. But they're kind of short. Maybe if they were any longer, it would be kind of weird. Like I mentioned earlier, his eyes have a nice embroidery to them. They're not buttoned eyes. I think Toy Network is trying to change up their toys a bit to try and make them nicer. Here's the quills in the back. I don't like the distance between the tail and these quills here. They could have been done a little bit better. The, body's, the body in the front is nice, but if you took, take it to the back, it's kind of weird. Not if you do this, though. You can see that the these quilts here kind of reach down to the tail, so they did their best. All quilts has Viz Media on it. Interesting, I guess because of Sonic X. And here's the tag. Yep, Viz Media for kids, Sonic Project. And his nose is soft and not nylon, and the whites of his eyes are also soft. The only parts of him that are nylon are his hands and feet and socks. But yeah, and they're roughly about the same size, actually, which is interesting. Well, anyway, these two are up for sale, so if you're interested in them, well, they're going to be in the plush lot with a lot. I mean, a lot of plushies, probably $100 worth of them. So, if you want to make an offer and have, like, certain, you know, like, the certain plushies in the lot, then... You can do that too, uh, but I really am trying to sell them all in one bunch because they're taking up quite a bit of space, but you know, what's a collector got to do? You got to buy lots and get as many as you can and sell the ones that you don't want. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, requests, then please feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. As always, thank you for watching, God bless, and stay tuned for more.